Welcome back to EY class. Last time we have already downloaded the OECD data on global view housing price indices and create a chart by using Excel pivot table. If we would like to improve the charts today, I will demonstrate how to use data wrapper to produce a nice interactive chart. Yeah, so last time we have downloaded OECD data of global real housing price indices from 2015 quarter one to 2022 quarter four. So if you have not watched the video, please watch it via the following link. And then by using pivot table, we have already created 10 countries real housing price indices for producing a chart. So even though it's quite user-friendly, by using Excel pivot table to plot charts, but it does not look good. Especially, it does not provide interactive data. So today, I would like to show you how to use data wrapper to produce this chart easily. Let's assume you have already registered and logged in into data wrapper. Then the home page would show like this and on the top right corner you create a new chart map or table so today we will demonstrate how to create a new chart it provides four different types of data input either you can copy and paste data or uploading a, a excel file or csv file or even connect to google sheet or other blank cage to external data so let's simply use copy and paste data into this and see whether data wrapper can recognize the data, the data table structure. So we copy the pivot table data and paste into this box and it automatically recognize the columns and rows. If it looks good, then click proceed and it will show you the recognized it table form. The first column shows the year and quarter number, and then the horizontal columns shows the code of the 10 countries. And recognize that the first row is the label. So it looks good. Of course, if you would like to have any change, then you can do it here. You can also add column by clicking this button here but let's take it very simple we simply moving forward then here shows you there are 20 different types of charts for you to choose either bar chart vertical or horizontal line chart area chart scatterboard donor chart or pie chart so today we are going to produce this simple time series light chart. So we click this one and then you can refine it. Say for example, it is in one color. We can make it become more colorful and immediately it is so interactive that when your cursor moves to the point, it immediately show the name of the countries, the quarters and also the index. So if you would like to put different range or format for horizontal axis and vertical axis, here provides you horizontal axis destination and vertical axis destination. Say for example, you can change into log scale. The range can be changed but it looks very good from 100 to 170. It cover all, so we just accept the default. Then here provides you an easy way to customize the color code of each line. So you can say, choose different line and specify with different color and immediately it shows what does it look like.
Yeah, so now we divide 10 different color groups for each country. And we can also divide the label either on the top or the right, two lines connecting labels to lines. So it looks very nice. Instead of showing the legend at the bottom or on the top, it provides a direct indicator on the right of all the lines. So it's very good for data visualization. So after formatting, then we can also annotate, put in the title here, description, writing the note, specifying the data source, providing the link, and writing the name will create this chart you will find that immediately the chart will provide all these nodes, highlines, and allow people to get the data if you provide the link to data source. So it's so user-friendly and very nice, much better than Excel table tabled chart. And more interestingly, say for example, I would like to specify this highest point, then you simply insert this text annotation. And type the annotation here. Type the annotation here. And the index is the highest among the 10 countries in 2021. Quarter four. And you can also highlight a particular range. Say, for example, after COVID, you would like to highlight them. Lastly, it also provides a layout formatting. And you can change the footer. Now we allow data download. You can unlock it or and you can allow people to download the image or embed the link or put it into a web page so also you can allow social media share button so if everything is okay then we can proceed to the last stage publish and embed so if you are happy with this chart, then you click publish now. Then immediately it provides you a link on web for sharing or visualization and also with a special iframe for embed code. And if you just would like to have a photo, then click this PNG format with the pixel you want and the size. Then you can download the image immediately. Hope you enjoyed this data visualization demonstration. See you next week.